ahead to the Blitzer injury report for this week? Two guys that will definitely be out, and then the rest of the guys we'll see after practice. The guys that will be out will be Leo and Aziz. We'll see where the other guys are after after today. What? <laughs> Adore trending in the right direction, at least. Uh, I'd, I'd say we need another day. He's getting better. Um, you know, we'll see where he's at today. For all what your injured see? guys, do you have any concerns that any of them may not be available for the playoff game? Or um, I'm just going by today. So we'll, we'll see how it goes after the game. I was going to say, with Adore, what do you see as the pros or the cons or the positives of? playing him or just having him return in the playoffs like is that risky do you want him to get some work game work in before then yeah no look we'll go through today we'll talk to the uh, trainers uh, the medical staff and we'll do what's right for the player and what's right for us are you willing to reveal if you're sitting any starters yet what's t what time is it today <laughs> I won't be here evening. Tonight. Friday exactly. evening I won't be here tonight it's, uh, Friday it's evening. evening in yeah. certain parts of Friday the world. evening <laughs> yeah. good question thanks <laughs> Dave, is part of your reluctance for that, um, you know, obviously jokes aside, but yeah. you want to finish the week out with, with your guys and, and, yeah. and see where you're at after today's practice? Yeah, I mean, I'd say that, look, every week is, you know, we don't talk a lot about injuries or who's playing. We, we go through the, the week of practice. We do the same thing, you know, week one is, you know, we have our meeting after practice. Joe and I talk, you know, after practice in the evening, Saturday, and we just, that's when we make our decisions. What are you looking to get out of this game for me, Jim? Play a good football game. Fair to say that like a preseason game, you wouldn't play your starting quarterback if you're not playing your, you have to have the quarterback with the offensive line, right? One more time. You, if you're playing your offensive line, you don't ever play your starting quarterback if you're not playing your offensive line. So if like if Andrew's not playing and Evans not playing, then you wouldn't play your quarterback either, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll talk about that tonight. Has your thought process on playing starters changed at all during the week, or is it you kind of had your mind made up and? Is it no, that's why we're gonna. I mean, we talk during the week, but we'll make our our final decision um, after practice. See how it goes and. Again, decide what we think is right for our team. Will you discuss it all with players? Like, like will you take what, what they feel, or is it with guys who they are always going to want to play? So you yeah, just, just look. They, they're told they got to be ready to play, and um, that's their job. Do you see any sense in playing guys for like a series or two series, or is it all or nothing? Whenever you decide. That's what we'll that's what we'll talk about tonight. Okay, so that is an option. A series or two. I'd say everything's everything's okay. an option. Okay. Um, but again, whatever we think is right. Um, that's what we'll do. Gabe, a couple of your players yesterday to me went through the idea that all of this really started in the spring with their great attendance, with the way that you introduced yourself and your staff to them. I know that's big picture and you may not like that kind of a question either, but do you in any way look now at where your team is and say it really did start months and months ago with those introductions and the commitment by those players? Yeah, no, I think what you do is you try to build the best team you can. Um, I think building a team is more important than just collecting talent. I think Joe's done a really good job with his staff of bringing people in that fit the criteria that we look for and uh, certainly being around the guys and, and the chemistry, I think that's really important. I think there's hidden points in team chemistry. There's hidden points in, in camaraderie. Um, you know, so we had great attendance in the off season and that led into training camp and you know, the experiences that you share with one another, I think those are important, definitely. Um, but bringing in the right kind of guys that do the right thing, um, that are consistent, that work on improving, um, that play well together, I think, yeah, I think that starts, you know, back in April and, and May, and you just try to improve it as the season goes on. Since we asked you so much Wednesday about the DeMar Hamlin situation, yeah. what, what was it like for you to get the more recent Awesome, players? awesome. I mean, it's... <clears throat> It's probably uplifting for the entire league hearing what you just heard when I was coming out here. Um, just so thankful that he's trending in the right direction, um, but it, it, devs, it gives you a boost, uh, you know, because you're praying so hard for the young man and to see him improve or to hear about him improving the way he's improving is just, it's an awesome thing. It's awesome. Since you're building something long-term here too, is a week like this a good opportunity to 
get a look at players who you haven't gotten a look at in real games yet? I, well, we look at we evaluate our guys every day. Um, at practice, they're getting a ton of reps. Uh, you know, you only have so many players on your roster, so you know whoever's playing out there would be a good opportunity for them. Whether that's guys that have played a lot um, or guys that haven't. The two guys you picked up on on waivers just a couple weeks ago. Uh, Draw Davis and, mm -hmm. and Wyatt. Um, are they guys that, since they're on the active roster at this point, maybe they see a little bit more time on Sunday? Yeah, I'll just say everybody that's everybody that's on the active roster each week, not just this week, each week has to be ready to play. And, and those guys have spent a lot of time with their coaches uh, trying to get up to speed with how we do things. Um, you know, it's not easy to come in only for a few days and be able to play, but uh, they're trending in the right direction in terms of learning our material and being able to execute the things we're asking to execute. But it's fair to say, I would think that, you know, you know what's on deck for next weekend. There are guys here who maybe don't have that resume to say, we can trust these guys in that opportunity. I mean, this could be an opportunity for guys to, to show you, you know what, maybe, maybe you are or you should be in our plans for a week from now. Yeah, and I'd say they have to, they got to show it every day. Uh, we would never put a guy out there that's not prepared to play in terms of physically or mentally. The weather's, couple, couple kind of, more. the weather's kind of lousy. Why out here today? Uh, well, I would say our groundskeepers, uh, Rob, and Bobby, and Ox, uh, you know, they did a, they put a tarp on it uh, a few days ago. So we went out and tested it this morning. Um, make sure it's safe for the players. And they, they were in here really early taking it off. So uh, the, the field's good to go on, so we'll be outside. How different do you look at your team from, I know it wasn't that long ago, but they beat you pretty handily the first time from when you played them several weeks back at this point. Um, in what regard? Like, have you seen growth in your team in that time? Like, do, you, do you look at your team differently now maybe than you did six weeks ago? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say, was. you know, you're, each week you try to improve. That's what you try to do, whether you win or whether you lose. And I think each week, you know, we get a little bit better. Again, the results might not be what you want them to be, but I think that, you know, as the season goes on, you look for improvement, and I think we've improved a little bit each week. I know the focus is on you and yourselves going into the weekend. Do you mention at all what's at stake for the Eagles, what this means for your division, and why, why wouldn't you take that approach? I just focus on what we need to do to try to win a game. Um, what are our musts? Go out there, prepare well, practice, just like it was when you were asking me, you know, this is for the playoffs. Like, I think you just focus on the week. That's, again, my mentality. That's what it'll always be. And um, that's the consistent approach that I try to use.